Yes, 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 yes. It's a man's world. I didn't catch that last part. I only caught that part. It's a man's world. No. Nothing else so that's how you matter. Feel? Nothing else matter with the song. It's it's a man's world. So I I, I am so glad that you chose that the right intro for our first show. Oh. Our, our, our first video of the new year. Boo, boo, have so, boo. You, with that being said, can, 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 can I just do the intro before you start? Before we start, see, there you go. Get, you gotta get in your place. That's all I gotta say. But with that being said, welcome to EOE Radio TV with your boy you love to hate, have chulos in the building, and my lovely. <laughs> Kick, or I heard five kick. I don't know. So we're going to figure this out. This is your girl, Miss J, and I still always have something to say. And we are back and happy, and we are blessed to have our very special co host with us in the building, Miss C Dub. No matter what, this is Jamie's daughter, and that's oh. what it is. Oh. Thanks for having me, y'all. <laughs> Thank oh. you for being here. Oh. We appreciate you. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad you're here because Hef is on that mess. What this mess? This is the man's world, but it's so I think that's. No, no, you're on that I mess. Did he say he was listening to the other part? I can't. You, well, into why that song was made, but it's nothing. I didn't hear nothing, that part. Nothing, nothing without a woman or a girl. What do you say now? But I didn't hear that part. I didn't hear it's, that part. It's I didn't nothing. My, was that was that in there? Nothing. Several times, multiple times. Nothing. Numerous times. Nil, nada. Zip. Oh. Zero. Without what? Miss J, without a woman or a girl, come on now. Well, well, yes. I think my 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 mic was my my ear uh, phone was acting no, up. I didn't hear that part, <laughs> so I apologize. But we are like definitely said, here to discuss this. I would love to hear more. To, of your to discuss what? To discuss what? No, so if you we feel if this is a man's world, right? So you agree? Then there's a such thing as a woman's place. Cause that's what oh, we're here to discuss. Oh, 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 most definitely. You, you got to play your position. You know, I always say this. It's like this. It's like this. On oh, no, basketball, let's just take simple basketball. You got a point guard, shooting guard, a center, a strong forward, and a um, small forward. You know, starting if I, five. If, if, if I, yeah, starting five. If, if I'm running point, give me the ball. I, I'm not asking you to run, to take the ball up the court. Play your position. Play your forward position. You know, let's play your position and just leave the talent to me. And you just like get the rebounds when they on the floor or something like that. That sounds very yeah. disrespectful. Uh, in a way, it's I think is I think in this case, what we're probably gonna find out is this topic is gonna bring a lot of it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Exactly. How you using it. Because I say the same thing, play your position. But when we get into that, I can probably explain that better. Have you you oh, come in oh. you come in a little strong, like stay in your place or rather than in your corner type thing. Well I haven't I haven't used a corner yet, but I do got one for the corner. I haven't used not that one yet. yet. Or <laughs> I, I got another example. I got another example. I got two. I got two more examples. Now, 
if I'm talking to my boy and and we having a disagreement, I don't need his girl to grab his cell phone and start texting for him. No. And play your position. Play your position. He can handle me, he can handle me and his conversation. Or oh I oh I got oh I I got oh I got plenty of these. Um well that's for that- everybody for both that goes both ways. Both ways? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, would I wouldn't never think that would just be, you know, uh, a I would, people. I would, you no, know, I would it. never. If 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 my girl had a disagreement with her girl, I would never, ever, ever think about. Oh, I'm going to speak up for you. No, no, that's that's between y'all. Exactly, two. that's what that's we're saying. That. That, that works both ways. That that shouldn't be done. Period. Mm-hmm. So you feel like oh, you're in a relationship with someone if <clears throat> the man has something going on. The woman basically just needs to mind her business. She she stays out of the affairs. She shouldn't have an opinion about um, something that doesn't involve her. But what if she feels like it does involve her because that's her man? That's she has that opinion with her man. Has nothing to do with us. This is between me and my boy. Yes, mm-hmm. I agree. Okay. And well, yeah. Well, what we're going to do actually, we actually have a couple. Um, and, that are going to come on the show here in the studio. Um, so I would love to ask them, since it is a couple, ask them that question, you know, and, and I'm, I'm going to ask, I'm, I'm ask that question. And, and oh, this is my last thing. I, I, yeah, I got to say this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I always say this. You can never okay. date a woman who never plays sports because if she never played sports, she would never know her position. Bam. You Shut know. Up. You there do. we you go. Have- Look, there we look, go. Look, you, there you we go. Reaching with that one. There he was reaching no. with that one. No. He be ha- he hey. be saying some stuff. He he talk about he'll never date a woman to drink dark liquor because they crazy. Oh no no. People. I don't that know drink- where he oh, got yeah. that from. Now a yeah. woman that doesn't play sports dark- doesn't know how to play her position. I no, very he- briefly play sport. Very briefly, so it doesn't what even it? count. I know how to play my position very well. Oh, guess what? So There's a lot of people who play sports, whether they're female or male, and they still don't know how to play their position, baby. What? Oh, mm. Come on, Mel. I don't know. Yeah. Everybody, welcome to the EOE Radio TV studio, Mr. Brian Hayes and Ms. Alicia Top. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Um, Welcome. We are so glad to have you here. <laughs> so I don't know if you heard this foolery. Hev Chulo has been foolery. talking about. Yes, foolery since you he was, were probably, he, was probably, he was probably about to clap and standing up like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bro. That's no. what I'm talking about. Uh, a bunch, oh. a bunch of B- BS. And just pause for one moment, um, because we need to bring Alicia into this conversation. Please welcome her to the EOE Radio TV. Studio, Miss Alicia. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so, did you hear that shenanigans? Like all the, you didn't hear him. The shenanigans in um, Oh, you did. Okay, great, great. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Madness. <laughs> Fuck foolery. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! So Hep has a question uh, for the two of you. He had a couple of references, some questions, and how more we fitting than an actual couple here. Go ahead and answer it. Uh, answer it for him. So Hep, please ask our special guest your question. Okay, okay, okay. So this is to you, Mr. Hayes. Um, yeah. Have you ever been in a situation where, like, you and your boy is disagreeing? You know what I'm saying? And may may y'all be together or may you be texting texting on the phone. And next thing you know, you you start getting a text from his his girl. Why your girl texting me? I think what? you're you're Stick asking the question you. wrong. <clears throat> no, I think the way the question should be asked fairly so he can they can answer it fairly is this okay, Brian's having a conversation with his friend and they're texting. And then he's telling Alicia the conversation. Alicia gets upset because of the conversation, how the conversation goes. And then she takes your phone and she texts your friend back in reference to the situation. 
you all are going through. First question to you, Brian, is what would you do in that situation? And the second question would be for Alicia, would you even do that? Do you feel like that's overstepping your place? Is that not your place? He just took my phone from me. How are you supposed to take my phone from me? <laughs> Let him answer. <laughs> Let him answer. Okay. Well, uh, well, well, in, in the first, uh, if me and my if me and my, one of my guys is having a disagreement and and she takes it upon herself to do something like that, first I'm gonna be like, all right, I understand why you did that because you felt a certain way about how when we're having a conversation or whatever. I get that. I understand it, baby. I love you. Thank you. But don't do that. Don't do that. Let him and I handle that. And then I'll come and tell you what the end result was. But I don't need you to, to do those type of parts for me. Like um, like what uh, C.W. was saying earlier, some players get on a team and don't know their role, don't know they play. Hey, that's true. That's true. Good and answer. You know that's, that's, that's that man's world part that Man. I'm talking about. This is is the way that you use it. Hef is saying uh, you don't know your position as in like it's some controlling matter or you know something more on like a slave level like don't just hmm. don't talk, be seen type thing and like with Mr. Hayes is saying that's what, and I'm a female, and I agree with that. He just did what what a man did. He played his position. He took control of the situation. He's not going to let his wife interact and get into it with another man, which one that he considers uh, his associate, what have you. He's going to take care of it as a man, and then he will turn, like he said, and then he will talk to and or consult or with his mate. That's what right. that should be. And these are not male and female things, factors. This is for both sides because I don't want my man. Now, I'm sure Mrs. Hayes is the same thing. If she was having a conversation with someone, should her husband come in and fuss out and tell her friend what to do? No, that's her place take care of that then if she wants to talk about it with her mate then that has that happen you gotta be fair Hef. this this goes this goes two ways you gotta be fair if you want other people to be open you want females to understand you have to be fair and that's fair yeah all right well, thank you for the response what are you gonna say Hef? No, I, I was going to wait to um, Miss Alicia. I, Alicia, Alicia, Alicia. I'm going to see what she has to say before. You didn't see I, her shaking her head. Yeah. You didn't see her shaking her head. You, you know what she's about to say. No. Yeah. Like, 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 listen, bro. <laughs> so, um, first of all, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but he got him a good one. Um, the question Baby. that Miss J posed was, would I ever do that? And the answer is no. Um, even though you are with your partner, there has to be some kind of individuality, um, some kind of separation between what you can and cannot do. Now, I am just as lucky as he is because we have open lines of communication. There has been several situations here, you know, over the holiday season where, you know, I've gotten into it with friends or family members and he was just there for moral support. Um, he did give me his opinion, and that was another way of looking at it. However, we don't interfere in each other's um, personal business or personal plights. We are more moral support. We are more evenly yoked that way. So I, while I understand, I'm, one, I'm not going through your phone. I've done that before, and it turned out so horribly so bad. And I was, I promised myself I would never do that again. Um, so, but I also believe that if I truly love you and I truly trust you and I keep open lines of communication with you, then we know what roles to play. If that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> Absolutely. That was quite well said but together. I agree. Um, can, I I got a question. Another question for Alicia. Um, have you ever played team sports? Um, I was on the drill team. <laughs> See, okay. I, I I don't I I don't 
Vikings. You said go Vikings? Go Vikings. Go Vikings. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Clap yes. everybody. Yeah. Clap. But, Come on. <laughs> but, yeah. but, see, but see, she was a part of a team. So she uh-huh. understood to be a part of a team. You know, so mm-hmm. I'm, I'm okay with that, you know. It's just that. So, hey. you have, so you still, <laughs> let me take you back. And Brian said it, let me take you back again to those people who's on the team and still don't know how to be team players. What about what? them? What, what, yeah, what, about them? At, what about them? Well, well, see, I... Oh. Well, <laughs> Oh, it's like this. Not like, being on the team from, from, <laughs> because they gotta, they they must serve a purpose. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, then otherwise the team falls apart altogether. Exactly. Yes. All right. Well, I truly appreciate the two of you taking the time to come on and give us your response um, to this. You know, I didn't think that we would find a couple that would want to come on, you know, because it's going to call. Now, don't be arguing now when the cameras go off. <laughs> <laughs> you're not, you're not answer, right? I like the answer. You know what I'm saying? Next time you see my audience, uh, uh, right. my <laughs> <laughs> I'm on here like okay, that. We are done. <laughs> Yes, we don't want to hear about um, any domestic violence situation or anything, but <laughs> thank the two of you again so much for um, joining the EOE Radio TV studio, and um, you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. We're going to go ahead and get another opinion by a male, another male's opinion way in. All right, so we're going to bring him on. Um, so you guys stay safe, stay well, and Thank you keep guys. watching. Thank you for having us. Don't right. forget to keep watching. No, you're more than welcome because we are doing um, a $25 cash app giveaway. So you guys stay tuned for that. Listen, I'll come back oh, in the money. Ain't nothing like ain't that like free. <laughs> right. <laughs> bye. Bye, 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 guys. That's <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. <laughs> Dope. I like the both of their answers. What do you guys think? I think you agree. Yeah, did I did I do a couple? Yeah, and I, I really agree. If 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 y'all two having a problem, I'm just there to support you. You know, I'm not there to let no one hit you or harm you. I'm just there for support. Mm-hmm. I'm not there to break up, you know. I'm just there for support. But if mm-hmm. I'm getting to with my boy, I don't need you to try to fight my boy for me because you know something? <laughs> I got this. I got yeah, but I want to get an opinion more about like, you know, a woman's place, like a role in a relationship and what that means. Like it means different things to different people. So we're going to go ahead and weigh in with Mr. Brandon Jackson. Let's go ahead and welcome him to the EOE Radio TV studio. Hi, Brandon. Hello, Ms. J. How's it going? It's going wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? Good. Thank you. All right, awesome. So we are asking people the question, um, what does a woman's place mean? When you hear that question, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Um, my first gut reaction is, hey, you're stepping on my toes. You need to back off for whatever that may be. In what it, way? Um. It can be, hey, I told you I don't like you having a beard. You need to shave your beard. It can be, you you shouldn't go out and buy those new shoes because I said so. So crossing oh. boundaries. Yeah. Right. yeah, and that's oh, really I, it. I, I, and you said because truth, I did that? Or, or whatever reason, you know, I don't like you to have hair because of this or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, or I'm going to go do this and you go do that. And something that is not within a normal relationship boundaries. I feel like relationship boundaries are set up for each relationship. I've dealt with a lot of um, different couples and you know, everybody's roles vary. There's been times where, you know, the guy is a stay-at-home dad. Um, 
But basically, it's like you're saying, hey, you're stepping on my toes and you need to back off. Also, a kind of a leadership thing, too. So with everything we say, though, there's a degree of respect and that you give one another. And that's saying, hey, look, you need to back off. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. <laughs> we had technical difficulties <laughs> no it's okay so he I'm not sure if you were able to watch but um, Brandon Jackson he had a different opinion he feels that um, women do have a place but um, it's saying stay in a woman's place is something intimate it should only be done in the home um, it shouldn't be done outside the home like someone else's um, like a friend or someone could not say to his wife, stay in a woman's place because of the derogatory connotation to it. But um, at home, he would, you know, imply, insinuate or whatever, enforce like, okay, a woman has a place, you know, so. Well, what, kind of, what, what kind of place did he suggest? Because I would think when we're talking about that, that's where the place is is at home like to me that's a given so what does he mean is he more of um controlling at home you have plays get in the kitchen type you have a place uh or just when my friends is over don't be in our face you have a place as shit that's me <laughs> i agree with that one though you know what? I'm it's, so, I'm Listen, I'm so ready for our next guest because <laughs> I, I know she's hey, about to read and But you know, before before we go to our next guest, we, we gotta play a song because we gotta play indie music. Yes. This is the station. This is what we have to do. We gotta play some indie music. Yeah, this is your new indie home station, y'all. So yes. Most definitely. Yes, artist, artist coming from an old school retired one. Mm -hmm. Love sporting indie underground the whole nine. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll uh, play a song by an indie artist. Her name is Savannah uh, Christina. Um, this song mm -hmm. is called Self Care. Um, so, if there are any women out there that are going through situations where they have a man that they think is being overbearing and are constantly being told um, to stay in their place, in their feeling, you know, down on their self or whatever, just go ahead and just do, have some little self care. Just self care. Just reflect. Take a vacation. Just worry about you. Forget about him. And you know, everything. Go sit in the corner. No, don't Let's sit, sit the corner. Just self care, <laughs> self love, baby. Be selfish. Okay, be selfish. <laughs> yes, you guys. That was Savannah Christina. Self care. Yes, y'all can go oh. ahead and follow her on Instagram at savannah.christina. She's an indie artist, you guys. Go ahead and show some support. Welcome back. So we're going to go ahead and bring our next guest onto the show. Everybody, welcome to the EOE Radio TV studio, Miss Don Yell. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Who out there waiting? <laughs> oh, boy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I need a drink. Yeah. Look, yeah. I, need a, I need a drink. You need a drink, Cap. <laughs> I need a drink. I yeah, knew he was coming yeah. on for Miss Smith. Yes. Have you uh, been listening to? I have. And I think that there are two different issues that are getting mixed together. One is saying knowing your place. And the other is knowing your, as a woman, knowing your place. So I do agree. I know this is going to shock. I do agree with half in one area. And I will explain that. Is when I'm working as a supervisor, Knowing some people need to know their place as far as not running to my boss to get something done, blah, 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 because I'm the one who is over you and I'm the one who's in charge. And I can in. always tell whether it's a man or a woman who plays sports or not. That's where I agree with him. <laughs> Typically, not all the time, yes. but you can yep. tell the people who played sports or some activity most of the time in a work situation, I can almost tell. 
because they don't understand that hierarchy. But that's totally different than telling a woman to know her place. That's a different ball game. That's no different than saying as a black person, know your role, know your place. Because if someone came to me and said, or my husband, whomever said, know your role, know your place as a woman, then I would be severely offended by that. Because as the one guy said who was on earlier, everybody's roles are different in a household. Mine in particular at the time, my husband worked, but he also took care of the children a lot more than I did because I worked and I worked long hours. So he, there's no way he could come up to me and say, know your role as a woman, because what you're saying is typically women are the ones cooking and cleaning and blah, 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 blah. And uh, I think Samaji brought up something about a car dealership. I had a similar experience where I went to a car dealership. I went in and I was looking for a black Camaro. When I went to talk to the person, my husband stayed in the car with our son because he was watching our son. I went in and talked to this salesman about a Camaro and he's like, well, why would you want a Camaro? Because that's what I wanted. And then he said, well, don't you want a minivan? Why do I want a minivan? Did I ask for a minivan? No. I said, why do you know? I know what I want. Then he said, oh, um, did you come here alone? No, my husband's in the car. And I knew where he was going. My husband's in the car tending to our baby. Now what? Well, does he know that you're in here looking at a car? <laughs> you need to stay in a woman's place. You need to stay and in a woman's place. The point of it is what he was saying is basically you're a woman. Stay in your place. The man needs to be taking care of this. You need the minivan and you need to be taking care of your child. The funny part was I said, you know what, let's walk out to my car because I knew what my husband would say. He wanted to talk to see this man who was in the car and not dealing with me. And he said, hey, man, your, your wife was in here looking at a Camaro. My husband said, Andrew, what's your point? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, what's your, yeah. And he said, well, are, are you going to let her drive something that, you know, strong, heavy? He said, Latin, 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 yeah, you guys are, it's, it seems here, really, everybody is saying almost the same thing. Have I said this to you in the beginning, the same thing um, that Ms. Smith just said is, it's a few things getting mixed up here. Yeah. <laughs> Roles and positions. Are you know, yes, it is disrespectful if you want to go. And I think, um, you know, the last guest explained that if you want to try and have it where you're controlling and you're trying to tell me I need to be in the kitchen and why you sit in here and I serve you brew for you and your friends, that's something different. Now, like uh, Danielle also stated, it's different if you say, Hey, on a respectful note, and that's where I don't think it's male or female, it's respectful exactly. all the way around in the relationship. So when my if my fiance is home and he has company over, it can be my male um family members. I'm not gonna be in their business and let them let them talk. It's not about I know my place. That's about respect. Because if Miss J and Danielle came over and we're sitting here and we're talking, I don't want him. What, what does he need to be around with me and my friends for? As that's just a respect thing. So it depends on, like I said again, the old antic is not what you say. It's how you say it. And it's not what you're referencing to. It's, well, it really is. How are you referencing to it? You know, like she said, this old school, that thing with the car guy, he's out of line. This has nothing to do with business. It's not your business. And you are trying to play me like a weak ass girl. 
And guess what? I know about cars. I know what I want. And truthfully, I might, you don't even know if I know more than my husband. While you up here talking, asking, asking for him, you don't do that. He was wrong and he was he was out of place. And what he thought was is that he was going to go out to that car and find another man like him who was going to be like, yeah, I don't know what she was doing. My fault, man. Sorry she was in there. But he got checked a different, you know, a different way. So, like, have, I'm, I'm agreeing with you on you and your boys playing basketball. I mean, in watching it or talking, having y'all talk, I don't need to be there. Now, I shoot pool and I skate for my recreation. Doesn't mean I'm doing anything, but that's me. People have to understand when you come together, it does not mean, and tell me if you agree, Miss J, when you come together, it does not mean that you're still not an individual. Individual, yep. You, you you still have to have your you time and your friends. I mean, that's where you come with what? Absence makes their heart grow fonder. You know what I'm saying? So like uh, Danielle said again, I just agree that it's just a couple things getting mixed up as to what positions and roles are. Knowing your place and role. And to, to, to tie into what she was saying, I think the first question was if Someone, if, uh, if a guy was texting their boy and had an argument with them and the woman takes the phone and starts arguing, was that the first scenario? Was that the original question? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah that's one of the first okay. scenarios. That, again, is not knowing your role. If she did that, that's not, you're a woman, you know better to do that. That's a respect. That's that, that Absolutely. Is a different thing. If, if again, kind of like what the guy said, if, if I was to do that and I wouldn't, um, I would expect my husband, mate, fiance, whomever to say, hey, no, 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 I got this. Like he said, I got this. Don't worry about it. But for him to say, hey, know your role, know your place, don't do that. that again, kind of like what she was saying, there, there's a way that you say things and coming across as know your role as a woman, don't do that. No, it's just being respectful in a relationship, knowing your place as a, as a whole. And each relationship, again, is totally different there may be that woman and there's still several plenty of women who do stay home and cook and clean and do da 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 da, -da. that's perfectly fine because that's agreed upon between that particular couple that still doesn't mean know your role that means that's what they chose to do between that relationship so when you when you start narrowing it down to you as a woman again there's no different than me going to work with a whole bunch of um, non-black people who say know your role as a black person there is no difference whatsoever in, in saying something like that well put well put so you okay so Ms. let me back yeah. up no wait, whoa 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 yeah. miss j looked like she uh <laughs> Like he's struggling with something right now. With Miss J, tell me, I we gotta hear it. You, Miss J. No, I, I, <laughs> I find Danielle to be a very um, approachable and, and knowledgeable person. She's she's very rational and sensible. So let me ask you this question. She plays sports. So, she plays sports. There y'all go with that. <laughs> How you know who plays I sports when you need? <laughs> I listen. She, <laughs> the sports players get the W. <laughs> Everybody's agreeing with that. I but. did. I, I won't lie. <laughs> what about the losers on the bench? No. <laughs> oh my goodness. So so you know scenario. You still um, learn something by I, sitting on the bench. Yeah, you can still yeah, learn something about you know sitting on the, on the bench, you know. So I guess it's really not everybody's getting a, a woman's place versus just a, a know your place. Period. You know, because Let me ask you this, and you tell me how you would respond and think that you know the male should respond. Um, you have um your partner, and he owns um a trucking company, and. He and his employees have um, a group chat that they correspond to each other in daily about route changes, um, call ops, whatever. 
but he he actually you know but your your mate he owns the company um and they're having a conversation about some um routes and things and uh one of the gentlemen said something about possibly going off and getting his own truck or something um but it's really not him trying to go off and get his own truck. It's really about him trying to get another truck to bring into the company for your mate. But you and your mate um, didn't really get that when the messages were coming through because it's, I guess, hard to um, interpret text communication. So you, um, he, so he's calling you to then and telling you like, hey, I think this guy is trying to go off and get another truck without me or whatever, you know, I'm upset. So you get upset, like, oh, you know, they're they're trying to play my man. And so you call the gentleman and you say, hey, you're fired. You know, you want to go out and you're supposedly going out and get another truck or whatever. You're fired. You can't work here anymore. Um, and then your mate finds out, like, you just fired, you know, one of his truck drivers, you know. And then what happens at that point? What do you think? It's supposed to happen at that point. What is your mate supposed to do? Do you think that you were wrong? Would you ever do something like that? Is that overstepping? Like, is that that's just yep, like knowing overstepped. your place? Okay. Um, yep, she overstepped. My my question is: Am I a part of his business, or is this just his business? It's just his business. You're you're not a part of the business. business okay. At all. Are, oh, okay. So, uh, in that instance, personally. I stay out now. I listen to my man, and I say, "Look, this doesn't seem right. Maybe I would tell him because that's what I coach a lot. Hey, you need to talk to him and see what's really going on because it is hard telling what's going on via text. I would say call him, but I would step out because that's not that's that's not I don't want to say that's not my role. But as far as a business is concerned, that's not my place to do that. If unless I'm a part of that business and I'm part owner, then maybe." But uh, uh, I I was dating someone for a while who owned a bar, and I was there a lot, and I saw things going on, things going on, things going on. I would never go and say, "Hey, you need to fix that. Stop giving that out free." Blah da 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 da. That's not my place because that's that's his business, not mine. I would tell him mm -hmm. later on, which I have. Hey. The, this is what I saw. You handle it the way you want to. If you let it go on, if you like it, I love it. But I'm just telling you what I saw. It's up to him to do what he wants to do with that. And I feel in that situation, I feel the exact same way. It is not my business because I would not want someone who is not a part of my business as a woman, I don't care if you're a man or a woman, to come in and overstep my bounds of my business, just go talk to an employee of mine when you really don't have anything to do with it except for me venting. So personally, I would not do that at all. And if someone did that to me, I would be very upset. Hey, when playing sports prevails, she played her position. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I <laughs> no, but she's right. I, I agree with like her. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Whenever you do something like that, and we do not just women, it's meant to, we get really angry and emotional and we react. Instead of stopping and saying, whoa, whoa, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, I know. Don't shake your head because I know men who do it. Trust me. They react. Yeah. Uh, we do too. Not saying just men. It's women too. But what I'm saying is we need to stop that in general and say, oh, let's think on a level playing field, would you would you want someone to do this to you? No matter what it is, just stop for a second it's and not say, you want somebody to do that to you. And most of the time, the answer is no. And by the time you thought about it, you're pretty much calm and you can make a level decision. That's not true. Yeah. Growth. No growth. Yeah. So you actually have put um your opinion on a, a Facebook. So um, a post was placed up about a woman's place. What do you think that means? Um, and then a gentleman responded and um, put something on there and you responded to it. Do you mind me reading that interaction? Because your response, I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I love it. So um, a gentleman responds to 
what does a woman's place mean? Do you think women have a place in a relationship? Would you ever tell your woman to stay in her place, weigh in? And so a gentleman put, my wife's woman's place in our partnership is to make me a better me, love her to death. Miss Danielle Smith responds, she can't make you a better man. Only you can do that. She may give you the desire to want to be a better man, but again, that's up to you. No one can make you do something you don't want to do. In Preach. Coach. Preach. I thought that was beautiful. <laughs> For those listening, go yes. to that painting and look at it, listen to her. Because if you make somebody all the time, as soon as you ain't on them, they ain't going to do it because they never really wanted to do it. So she's right. You have to want the change. I can't want the change for you. you to Tell them to read it. Repost. Repost. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will and actually. I, um, I mean that, and I'm not saying that because it, it sounds good. I'm saying that because I've lived that. I, you know, I, I've been there where I all this and I, this person's going to make me better and da, da, da. no they're not again they may give me the desire to want to be better but they can't make me and I can't make someone be somebody that they are not if someone shows you who they are you need to believe it <laughs> and not try to change them and do all of this other mm -hmm. stuff you just got to believe it and that just comes with with uh with time and that's something that I grew being married for uh almost 27 years and being with the same person for almost 30, we grew up a lot together. I mean, I met my husband at the time when I was 15 and we were together until uh, until he passed away. So we grew a lot. And it just um, it's just things that you learn over over the years and, and things like that. So, yeah, I can't make anyone do anything. You can't make anybody do anything. So that really kind of bothered me that he said that. I know he meant that in a positive way to his wife, you know, she, she's, she, my, her role was to make me a better person, but no, no, no. <laughs> right. Well, and I like what you said, um, Danielle, because I see this is where I get into the argument with other men. A woman cannot make you please stop it. Please. Mm -hmm. And I get so many men. Well, I, none of my none, none of my male friends, because I'm I, none of my male friends are like this. But I get so many. So I've dealt with so many different men that said, "Oh, she made me a better person." No. If you don't want to be a better person, you're not going to be a better person. You're just going to be the same. Right. You. A woman cannot make you. I a better think person. probably what they meant is the yes. I think what they probably mean and and is that that experience. Like for example, I tell. I know this is going to sound kind of silly, but I tell, sometimes I'm joking around if I'm dating someone and I'm like, the person that I am today is because of my husband. Not that he made me a better person, but it was because of that growth. And now I've learned so much. I am who I am a lot as far as relationships are concerned because of my husband. He didn't make me a better person but he gave me that desire to want to be a better person. And now I'm at where I am. And I think that I'm a lot better off by knowing him than not knowing him. So they're well, probably hey, meaning, she, she, you see what I mean? Yeah, I feel you on that because I've dated women and I was married for a time and I made them all great women. So yeah, I understand what you're saying. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> 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 I made everybody great. That's why they still love me. That's why they still love me. Uh, I, girl, I they no they love me. <laughs> right. But I'm sorry, Miss Jay, did I answer your question first off? You did. You did answer my question, and I appreciate it. And I appreciate you taking the time being here with us and, and dealing with Hef just, uh and his shenanigans, um, but you know, you actually shared. I expect um, no less from him. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, everyone, you guys can expect to see Miss Danielle Smith and Mr. Hef Chulo in an upcoming show here on EOE Radio TV. So you guys stay tuned for that. And in the near future, they will be making the announcement about that soon. So we are very excited about it. Yes. People, keep me in prayer. <laughs> 
All right. Well, we're going to go what? ahead and uh, play a song by um, an indie artist and bring another special guest onto our show after um, this brief break. But, Danielle, again, thank you so, so much for being here with us. Continue to watch because, again, we have a $25 giveaway. Um, tonight so hopefully you can be a part of that you know maybe that could be part of your pain and suffering for having to deal with half in the future though or something I'm not <laughs> sure <laughs> all right you have a good night you're welcome <laughs> bye all right everyone this is Tangina Stone anxious Y'all can follow her on Instagram at Stone Blue. That's S T O N E B L U. Stone Blue. And that's how y'all females be feeling when y'all know how to uh, stay in a woman's place and play y'all's position. Y'all get anxious. <laughs> y'all get anxious, don't y'all? <laughs> some get, have, some may get a little angry. Some may get a little angry, but, you know, my, 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 yeah, my philosophy, you get over it. <laughs> you know, you know, we're gonna we're gonna weigh in. We're gonna weigh in. We have another guest all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in on 
what does a woman's place mean? So everyone, please welcome Angel to the EOE. Yeah. A woman's place. So maybe some time don't go. Oh, maybe on some days. <laughs> but not today on Taco Tuesday. Not today. Right. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm well. How are you? <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. That's Just enjoying good. discussing with so many different people what they feel a woman's place actually means. Everyone has like mm -hmm. different opinions. And I think a lot of people are are um, confusing or combining um, just a, your place period in general and what actually is a woman's place. So if we're talking about a woman's place in a relationship, specifically only to a relationship and her role in the relationship, what does that mean to you? Do you think a woman has a place? Um, I think it depends on the relationship and what you both believe the end goal of the relationship is. Um, if you, if a woman is with someone who thinks that he wants someone that's barefoot, pregnant, and in the kitchen, then that might be your place. But if that's not what that man or that other person wants, then no. It, I think it changes based on the relationship. Okay, so you don't think there is like um, this generalization like old school, you know, our moms, moms, moms back in the day, a woman's place was in the home. A woman was supposed to be at home. She was supposed to cook. She was supposed to clean. She was supposed to see after the children. You know, that was her place to cater to her husband. So is that... Um, is that a woman's place or a maid? Nanny. <laughs> well. <laughs> I mean, well, so were our great were our grandmothers and great grandmothers and great great grandmothers maids? Because that is how they were. I mean, if you really Basically. sit and think about it, you know, if you if you really think about our, our grandparents, great grandparents and things, how they were, you know with their men. Um, that's mm. what they did. They cooked, they cleaned, they sought after the children, they made sure that man's shirts and creased and pants and and that was what they felt their role was. But over the ages when I believe women start gaining our independence, it's changed. I mean, so do you well, think I, I I think my grandmother didn't do those things. My grandmother was out working also so that's what I saw. That's what you saw. I mean, but you know, like our great grand, you know, great grandparents. That's what they, you know, maybe. No, that's my not, grandma. I'm talking about she's not okay. I'm sorry, y'all. My grandma cooked. <laughs> my grandma made my grandpa just, breakfast okay, every morning. Out of the family, I'm talking about. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got your, your Caucasian side of the family. But the my, my, my my grandma cooked every morning and she made sure my grandfather had dinner when he got home from work. But she wasn't working. That's you know, that was her thing. She was she wasn't working. I she think stayed that's at home. a big difference because a friend and I have this conversation all the time and he says the same thing. He says my grandmother cooked, she cleaned, my grandfather never touched the refrigerator. And I'm like, okay. Was your grandmother also going outside and working? No? Okay. Right. Well, if you want that kind of relationship, you also have to provide like your grandfather did. You can't expect me to go out and work a full 8, 10, 12, 16 hours a day just like you, and then I still have to come home and take care of the house. That part is going to have to be 50-50 just like everything else. Right. Yes. No, that's true. That's true. I can see. I can totally understand. Did she understand. say 50 50 Yes, she said 50-50. Oh, I, I can't understand that. I can't understand that. She did. I can't. Well, I can't. You I cannot can't. accept that. Well, I, you know what? That I can see that kind of both ways, but I got a little bit of old school, a little bit of new school. Can he get up and cook that steak for me sometime? We both work in these long hours. You know, yes, he can. Mm -hmm. uh, will I feel myself more obligated sometimes, even on some days that I'm tired and I work too as his woman to do that and make sure he has something 
Yes. And that's where Heth is. Yes, I do uh, that as well. But let me tell you why, because now it comes to that man's world. Men has a place too, but it's not worded like that. Me and Miss J and I was having this conversation and Miss J brought this point up. Men is, we expect y'all to be a man. Do what man things are, things that we don't have to ask you to do, you should be doing. So we want them doing stuff. So there are certain stuff that we're going to do. But again, that still goes back to what Danielle was saying and what Angel is now saying. It depends on how the relationships are set up these days. What is acceptable to each person in the relationship? Now, maybe you, maybe you want to be home and taking care of kids and cooking all day. I don't. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm probably not going to be with that man that wants that. We're not going to be compatible that way. <laughs> like, you're going to have to go over there with Jane. Because <laughs> Deb over here ain't doing that. And just, it's, it's this different setup. Oh, my God. So before you blow up, Hef, before you blow up. Uh -uh. I was agreeing with you, son. Did you hear what I said? It's just yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I'm just thinking God. I was just thinking God just now. <laughs> you know? It, yes, I, but like I, I said, it. I did say that's just me. Everybody is different. Just like Angel said, she had a grandmother where she grew up who was going out and working. Somebody else had a grandmother that, like you said, that all you watch was them cooking and cleaning and doing stuff for your grandfather, you know? And then me, I'm half and half because I grew up with both sides. My grandmother worked, but yet she was permissive. Per not permissive, sorry. Submissive. Is it submissive? It's submissive. 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 Okay. She was yeah. submissive to my grandfather at the same time. She did both. You see what I'm saying? So it it just depends on where you come from, what you were taught, where what you seen, what you think is going to be acceptable. And when we're growing up, we either like or don't like what we see. And you're either going to be like that or you're going to be the other way. One or the other. That's true. Angel, let me that, ask you that, this. That part is true. Yeah. Let me ask you this, Angel. So um, you are a business owner, so you you own your business. You're going to work all day, you know. You're tired. Um, your man, he has a job. He works um, just like you do, and y'all both get home at the same time. The house is dirty. The dishes are dirty. You know, y'all have kids. Kids need him to like. Do you say? Do you like? Okay, well. I'm not going to do anything because, you know, I worked more hours. Say you work more hours. I'm not going to do anything because I work more hours. You handle the kids and everything. But he's like, okay, no, you're the woman. You're going to do this or whatever. Like, if nobody's agreeing, because you say, okay, it just depends on the relationship. If you, if everybody's working, so everything should be equal. You say 50-50. But what if he's like, okay, well, no, it shouldn't be 50 tonight because you a woman, you do it. Like this, now it's a woman's place. It defaults to a woman's place. So if it, if you have to decide and choose, you know what I'm saying. In that situation, do you think it should default back to the woman? Because if if, if there's, you know, you're not negotiating correctly. If that makes sense, I'm trying to figure out how I'm trying to word my question. Yeah, just, I think it makes sense how you're wording it. I feel like um, it can go both ways. I have no problem that's coming true and attacking then. everything that needs to be done if we get home at the same time and we need to cook food okay i'm gonna cook food we're gonna put something on for the kids you can relax a little bit but if the kid starts to get in my face i'm definitely gonna be like okay go see daddy real quick <laughs> because mommy needs to focus i need to focus real quick go entertain daddy <laughs> now if daddy keeps sending baby back in there okay listen i understand that you're tired because i am too but this it needs to be a team effort okay all I'm asking is to entertain little baby for like three seconds. 
while I get this food on. Um, I, I'm definitely equipped for multi task, and hopefully, before I left, I put something in a crock pot so that when we got home, we can just go ahead <laughs> and pick up all these crayons and get this homework done. Because I don't want to get home at 7 p.m. and then we looking at each other like, "So what's for dinner?" Mm-mm. We're gonna stop. We're gonna get something. We're gonna pray over this. Exactly. <laughs> You know what, Miss J? Brandon, uh, Brandon had said and sent the message like, "Hey, there's nothing worse um, than coming home and your spouse has been home all day and nothing is accomplished." And I agree with that, just yeah. like she's saying. Now we're because we're saying the key word he said is your spouse been off all day, been home all day, right, <clears throat> right. And you can you do nothing. I come in here, the house tore up, ain't no dinner cooked, no nut. Come on now, I agree with them on that. See, the problem is some of these females, and see, I know right now this is where it comes. This is when C. Oakley coming out because some of y'all bras is not going to like it, but it's the truth. You out here, your big bosses, you're running business, like Angel said, and Miss J, you know, times has changed. Now we have rights, but some of us is taking those rights too, too far. And I don't know where everybody is religiously, but if you went and got married, you're almost in the same place as me because you got married under this oath of this book. And that book says that the man is the head of the household. We come from their rib. We are supposed to be assisting. Now, how we interpret that, we all just we all just talked about. But some females. And y'all can tell me if y'all agree or not. Hef, is there is there not some females, and this is where that your place thing comes in, don't know when to cut that and how to be, you're strong, not saying you got to be weak in the house, but you're doing all this rah-rah stuff out there in the world. When you come in this house, this is something else. You have to know who to be submissive to. You do not be submissive to everybody out there, only your man, and nothing is wrong with it. Yes, yes I agree, yes. I definitely I, I remember, I, I remember um, when I was married, and that was a long time ago, I remember um, telling my ex. Because she ain't on that, her place. <laughs> I always say, if we're gonna get to, if we're gonna have a debate, it's a teaching for her right now. This was a teaching lesson. I said, you will go to your job eight hours, and you would do what your manager tells you to do, and not argue. But when you get to this place, you get home, you want to start arguing about petty stuff. You know, we all have jobs within our own house. You know, if I post to the trash, I'm doing the trash. If you post to the dishes, do the dishes. Don't argue with me right now about it. You know, pretend like you're at work. Clock in, do your work, and then clock back out. See, just leave me alone. You you keep going back to that woman's place crap. You said just just do your job. Just do your job. Pretend like you at work. Dang, half. But you know what? That but that's that's work, that's a little they, they give their boss they give their bosses the, the, the respect, bring their bosses presence, uh everything. But Miss J your husband that's why Hef ain't married no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I don't know. I don't like Hef's, uh, Hef's opinions. We need another male to, to hey, weigh in. Every Brandon is coming in question. with some good ones. Yeah, He's coming in with some good ones. What's your question? I, I, I got Have another you. question for um, Angel. Angel, have you been in a relationship and your man told you to stay in your place, position? Has that ever happened to Absolutely you? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> Let me you say been, that for you, you Angel. Oh, all your life? Hell no. <laughs> right. No, I have not been single all my life. No man has ever had to tell me to stay in my place or stay in a woman's place. No. Mm-mm. 
Oh. Cause she played her position very well. Okay. Cause she knows well. what she's doing. Angel, let me ask you this. Have you ever played sports dear? I have not. Oh, she but you know what? Sports, though. I have not but played sports. But she knows sports, how to be. She knows how to be a team player. I do. I have a ton of brothers and sisters. So at some point, you know what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to do. Amen. Right. And, and on top of that, I actually had great women I'm role models. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. So, yeah, no man has yeah. ever had to tell me to stay in my place. And thank God he didn't because, I don't know how that would have went. <laughs> so, you know what, me. Angel? Since you said that you had great female role models, let me ask you this, because I think that's a great point to bring up. Um, I mentioned this earlier. Do you think that that might be like you, you said, people come up in different ways and things and some people may very well just not know what's expected of them or how to do because of what they either had or lack thereof? Absolutely. I, I, I definitely think that plays a huge role in it. One of my grandmothers, I remember her working until she literally, she worked two jobs for as long as I can remember. And the only way she quit one of them is she got laid off. And when they asked her to come back, she didn't go back. My paternal grandmother, I don't remember her working at all. She was in the house and that was fine too. It worked for them. And I'm not even opposed to coming home from work, doing the cooking, doing the cleaning, doing the kids. I'm not opposed to that. But when I'm say, when I say I'm tired, I should be able to confide in my man and tell him that, and he should have absolutely no problem taking over. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> All right. I, I, he shouldn't I, I, just I, sit I, back and I, say, I, "You're I, the I, woman. I, you're supposed I, to I, cook." I, okay, cool. Because guess what? I can eat these crackers and go lay down. You know, <laughs> and this stuff goes both ways. You know, Brand, Brandon mentioned that, and I agree on this, females, y'all going to be mad again, but y'all wondering why your man over there with somebody else, because whatever you don't want to do, somebody else would do. Now, we're not talking right or wrong, because that's a whole different show, but it happens. Uh, Brandon reminded me that the other ones over there is Kiki and Nene. So <laughs> you yes. losing your man to Kiki and Nene. But it can go the same way too. Uh, you know, you might be uh, losing your your woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have Bob somebody in the studio waiting to come in the studio that has experience with um, losing women, being single. <laughs> <laughs> Every all of the above. We, I would love to hear his opinion. We're going to go ahead and welcome him and add him to the EOE Radio TV stage. Everybody, this is the Sandman. Welcome. Let's wrap this up, everybody. We had to get some more mm -hmm. testosterone up in the building. But don't worry about it because you guys got backup. Because I got one of my homies in the studio waiting to come on. I don't know if he's going to be Team Health Chulo, Team Salmon, just because he a man, you know. But we're going we gonna to see. We're just going to head away in. I think me and Salmon is on the same page, so. Yeah, he don't got to be Team you know. Salmon. He's got to be along with Team Right, man. It's like like this, man. A woman do have her team place. Right. And every time, every time you hear that uh, uh, stay in your place, they take it as a negative. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, when a man tell a woman to stay in her place, it's because something ain't right. You know what I'm saying? And he's trying to get her back right. You know what I'm saying? Either she she making more money and she thinks she's the breadwinner so she could talk to him any old way. So he might say, stay in your place. It's Your place is beside me, not in front of me, not behind me. You know what I'm saying? So that stay in your place could be a positive, like you either getting ahead of yourself or you falling behind and you need to catch up or I'm going to pull you up with me, beside me. You know what I'm saying? So are, but every, so are you but using every time that a man, wordy? But every time a man says stay in your place, it's because something ain't right. If everything is going good, you never hear a man tell a woman to stay in her, or know her place or stay in her place. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, it's only said because all cylinders ain't firing, something ain't right. You know, it's not always a negative. I'm, I'm saying, yeah. 
I'm saying that. But in how love. are you saying it though? How are you saying those exact words, or is that it, just what you're referring to? Now it could be it could be said in in a wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how you say it, but everybody has a place. And if the other person don't realize what place they're in or what space they're in, it's up to the other person to remind them. You know so what I'm saying? Do you, how do you say it? How do you how do you tell a woman to stay in her place? Okay, stand man, tell Angel to stay in her place. Respectfully, okay. <laughs> it, it, it depends on what she's doing now. He now, if Miss Angel, now if Miss Angel is talking crazy to me, I'm gonna be like, stay in your place. This ain't what we about. We ain't about argument. We about talking. We gotta talk through stuff. You know what I'm saying? Don't yell at me. Don't talk to me like I'm a kid. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I be like, okay, Angel, stay in your place. The... Go ahead. Can I set the tone for it though? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So you and I are married. We have two mm -hmm. children, a 14 year old and a three year old, and we're both working. We come home and like a whole week, I just been in this funky mood. I ain't been wanting to cook. I ain't been wanting to clean. And I'm just like, you, it's, babe, I ain't your clothes today. I'm tired. I just don't feel like it. How do you tell me, babe, catch up? I mean, that really ain't a babe catch up situation. I mean, if you if you in a slumber right now, it's time for me to pick up the slack. Okay, a whole month then. But okay, now now that's month. getting out. That's that's oh, not, now, now, so now you it's not, now it's not you not wanting to do your job. Yeah. Now you gotta get in your place because that ain't just about so how, me doing everything. It's about you helping out. You know what I'm saying? Picking up the slack too. It's not about me so taking on all the responsibility. Okay, so how do you tell her to stay right, in her so place? How do you tell me? Okay, I'll, I'll just like I said, I'll just come up like, listen, you gotta, you gotta stay in your place. You gotta know your place. You know what I'm saying? You putting everything on me. Your place is beside me and to help me, not to have me do it and cater and do everything for you. You know what I'm saying? It's not supposed to be one sided. And the kids is not supposed to just see one side of everything. They're supposed to see the parents helping each other out, even when they don't want to. You know what I'm saying? That's your what place. Your place is to show them. No matter how tired you is or whatever, we can work together. You can, you can, even though you hurting, you can, you can help out. Mm -hmm. You Man, probably got hey. slapped. And all Man, you went too far. Sam. Hey, but you yeah. know what? Stan Man, Brandon said again, look, I'm reading all this stuff, and <laughs> I agree. If you're not doing your shit right and not in your place, then I don't have no place. My place is to do what the fuck I want. So it has to, everybody <laughs> has to be doing the same thing, and I think you said that. It's like, if if you tire, I need to pick you up. If I'm tired, you need to pick me up. If we tire, we yeah. need to try to hold each other the fuck up. And let's do this. What's up? Okay. Okay. So, I think Salmon is giving us a water me. down of how he would tell somebody <laughs> to, to say no. that. I don't think that's the real way. You know, <laughs> I don't think. But I, listen, this gentleman, let me, let's me let bring Fit Bars into the EOE Radio TV building. Let's see how he's what he hey. going to do? Let's go ahead. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> this is the EOE Radio TV. Oh. Mute, love. Take your mute off, man. Oh, you know, I'm here now. I apologize for the mutage. <laughs> <laughs> Same man, you let me down, bro. I didn't think you were going to do me good. You didn't do me justice, bro. Let Man. me down, bro. Come on now. Oh, well, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. 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 let us go let us no one has a place. You just said you want to be treated like an adult. To tell another adult to stay in a place means you're diminishing that person as an adult. Their place is what the hell they were when you met them. You fell in love with that person. Yes, they're going to do things to agitate and never be no, nevertheless. But at the same time, their place is always whatever their position is required to be at that time. You can't tell someone to stay in their place when they're rocking with you because guess what? They is, they are supposed to be side by side. I believe a woman is equal to a man. There ain't shit a woman can't do in my eyes because they got female welders. They got female construction workers. So I want to hear that shit. So what I'm saying is this. When your woman is excelling, it's because that's what she's supposed to do. Don't feel God. You said if she make more than you or she moving ahead of you, you're supposed to push her ass even further then. Man, I got to go further. God damn it. I'm with you. 
That's how nah, nah. teamwork works. It ain't no getting past it. No, nah, no. Nah. See, now nah, you took when I said when she is selling, I never said hold her back. I said if if she letting it go to her head and nope. she getting out of pocket and talking crazy about being in front, she got to know her place. Her place is beside I mean, you, not to not? think that she's in front of you. She can talk to you any way she can. Why not? Wait, wait, you a man, you think you can do it? Man, I watch no, 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 no. See, how you gonna say? See, you say when you a man, I'm a man, and I don't think like that. So you can't say that. Oh, and you know I appreciate what I'm that. So me and you, so me and you share the same. So me and you share the like mindedness. That that's that's good. But I'm speaking from a devil's advocate standpoint. Of there are okay. men that treat women oh. as 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 subjects to be doing what they want them to do at their own whim and look at them like footstools. And I don't oh, think true, that's true. respectfully respectful. Any queen, Thank you. a queen should be treated like a queen. You're supposed to lick her foot when she get off work. Give her a back <laughs> massage when she get off work. Had that bath and that dinner ready. Yeah. It's your home, and vice versa. Why that's how you create head Right. Yeah, but they but but the, the scenario they gave us is 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 you doing everything and she's not picking up her slack. You know what I'm saying? So how and do you, you know what I'm saying? She's not with you. She ain't working her ass. Her place ain't with you. She ain't gotta Back. find it. She gotta get from no place. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, in relationships or relationships or situationships, they ain't always, you know, relationships or situationships, they ain't always gonna be firing on all cylinders. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, some stuff happens. You know, like like they was giving us a scenario, bad day at work. Now she come home and we know women, a lot of some most women have attitudes if they having a bad day at work, they bring that stuff with them. And men do too. But you know, and men do too. Yeah, right. and, and right. that's your place. Yeah. Your place is to leave that at the yeah, door. You need work at the door. Let's get these right Let's get these goddamn women right quick. Let's do this right quick. Man, woman, because my man hit a good point. Y'all got a strong issue with whole lot of stuff that ain't got to do with whatever we got going on. And then the next thing we do is, how you doing? Why the fuck you care? It ain't none of your business. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing to you. You got a whole attitude with me, and I've done nothing to you. I just wanted mm. to see if you was okay. You was a mistake. <laughs> I'll take it, it, sounds, it sounds like people deal with a lot of like he said non-adult immature people because mm -hmm. I, I just don't see half of these things going on in my in my household and like Spitbar said y'all knew who these people were in the beginning because we're not going to keep going on with somebody that's straight irking from the beginning and not doing what you want them to do. So whatever it is, when you got through those six months or whatever, normally that's, I mean, people change and they show different stuff. But yeah. like you said, just the respect of being an adult, I don't have to teach you how to be an adult. I don't have to teach you how to act. Do I got to tell you how to speak when someone comes over or when we go out in public? <laughs> That's the same thing. It's like that a defamation. <laughs> nah. Nah. When women get in their emotions, sometimes they don't think straight. When people get in their emotions, let me say, when people get in their emotions, sometimes they don't think straight. Hey, spit bars. No, no, can you, can you like, finish now, this? We're not, now we're not talking no future. Yes, ma'am. Some of you niggas are bitches too. Come on now. Them bitch niggas. Ooh. And why are they called that? Because they acting like pussies. Because they acting like that? Listen, we not listen. They let the women run. Listen, we they don't let you run. Run. Listen, we we don't run. Run. You know what I mean? We, we, we don't got no truth around here. There are some instances where men do act like bitches. We not going to act like that's not a common fact. And there's some instances when women act like bitches too. So you know you gotta respect that it's all more the same. You can't and it's not a bad thing. It's just the emotional trait of being dysfunctional. That's what a bitch is in my emotion. I don't mean it in a dis yeah. disrespectful way, like you're not a queen still. No, you're still a queen, but right now your ass is dictated to being a bitch. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's your period. Who knows? But right now you're bitchy and I ain't got time. So you know, I want to stay. <laughs> so I got again mm -hmm. stay. <laughs> hey, so I know like, what you're in a minute. Um, <laughs> I'm being that bitch right now, and I want that stay. Well done, please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget you my A1 have... sauce. Right. Look, she Angel said the A1. What you say, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> What you 
to have faith. Yeah, go ahead, man. <laughs> I'm like, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. I, I mad done. damn man come on here looking like gangster, gangster, like, oh, like man. you gonna put the like, smack down yeah. with the hand down, like, give me some powder. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I wanted to wait until look panel. I wanted to wait until like the latter part of the show to kind of give my real opinion on um, a woman's place. Just my opinion, and it, it, it might shock everybody, but you know, I don't agree with you, Spitbar. I I think women have a place. I do. I think women have a place in a relationship. Um, I think as long as a man is being a man, he knows his place, then a woman. Has her place. Yes, I think. Even if I, I work, my husband works, I still feel as a woman because we're built different. I think we are, we're emotionally strong. We're set up different than men. So we can go throughout the day and endure more. We endure childbirth. Men don't. So we are stronger. People think that men are physically stronger than us, whatever. I think that women are, right. because we're mentally right. stronger than men. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can endure more. So I think, okay, you have a household. Man works, um, wife works. When the wife comes home, cook, clean. You know what I'm saying? Take care of the kids. If you need assistance from him to help you, yes, ask for assistance. And that's part of him being a man when he see, okay, my woman, my wife, my girlfriend, my whoever needs help, let me help her. But I think a woman should come home and she should initiate all of those things for her man. I, I do. And I don't think, I don't know if that's because just the way that I was raised because we did talk about it's our upbringing. Um, but yeah, so I think that's why, and then what Brandon said, that's why a lot of women are losing their men to Kiki and Nini because Nini is cooking. She cleaning. Hey, yeah, she works too. She working hey, at the Karen. hospital, you know, or at the, the, the nursing home. Like, and she's still coming yeah. home, putting that putting that four course meal down, got them kids bathed, fed, read the book to them, bedtime story, and all that. And still got that. Oh, let me lay in the bed and cut a time with you. Play your position, women. We have a place. And if you don't play your, your position and have, be in your place, somebody else is going to take your space. I guarantee you. Like that. me. Your man gonna be over here it's like now. <laughs> Eating his steak. Right. Oh I, I Eating guarantee his steak you. you but. <laughs> the, the things that you want your man to do for you, because you feel like, okay, I've I've cooked all day, I've cleaned all day, I've taken care of these kids, you know, I've caught up, I've, I've did all your little errands for you, so I want to be wine and dined, I want my back rub, I want my nails done, pedicure, you know, all of that, you know what I'm saying, why can he not get that, he, he went to work, he did the same thing, so why he can't get no back rub, why he can't get his feet rub and pedicure, get taken out, you know what I mean, it, I just think it's a woman's place to to uplift your man, be there for your man, and do all the things that a woman should do. I am saying it, things that a woman should do for her man. Ladies, you might be upset, but this is Miss J. It's my opinion, and it is what it is. It's never going to change. I have been this way since a child. I've always thought this way. I will always continue to, to think this way, and that's why I'm very confident and comfortable in my relationship. I don't know how to play my position. I know my place. Okay, I got to be with Miss J because... Brandon just said they over there with Kiki because you know why you is fixing cereal for breakfast and Kiki fixing steak, eggs, and potatoes. Excuse me. That part. Um, excuse me. Can I say something right quick? Yes. Sir. Go I, ahead. I, I would love it. My, my, my lady's at work, right, and she's about to go on break. And if I don't want to deal with that shit with a shit on, I got to talk to her. Because <laughs> like, he, you know he, he know his place. He know his place. He know his place. Shout out to girl. Hey, I know my place. <laughs> I know my place. Shout out. Shout out to Bar. Thank you for joining the Elite Radio TV. Y'all, it's always so, a pleasure. I'm going to reach out to you. He's like, let me go. He don't want to go. I'm going to come right back. That's my word. I just got to talk okay. to the queen. Though. I got to talk to him. Yeah, talk to the talk. queen. Hand your business. <laughs> See, he knows his place. I'm a fire as the model, but right now it's your. <laughs> I'm telling her to watch this video now. 
Nah, oh you just tell her. Nigga, I'm gonna kick him out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go and kick him out for. He kept talking and got in trouble. I don't want no part. How are you going to kick somebody out that was leaving? He was taking his time. Right, he was taking his time. I'm like, uh-uh, no, you ain't going to say it. Was. I felt like we kept talking, though. You don't get, get out of here. So I kicked him out. <laughs> no, you're on, placing. Have, and the place you know, here on the phone with us. <laughs> have quiet. Have quiet. Because he always got something ignorant to say. He probably ran out of ignorance. What, what, what? Why, why has it got to be ignorant? Because you don't no. agree with it. Because so it's the I truth. got a question I, for, the for truth. Sandman. What's up? We asked everybody else. Miss J, you asked Angel, Hef, um, you asked Don Gale. So Sandman, if mm-hmm. you own the business, mm-hmm. no partnership, mm-hmm. and you're having some type of issues or whatever it is in the business, and either your other half or significant other hears it or you talk to them about it, either way that it comes. And they go and intervene and get into the business and go say something to the person that it was that you talked to them about in confidentiality. Do you think that that stance not being in your place, stepping over a line, and how would you handle that? All of the above. And it's that situation, I don't know what I might do. But now you're not just messing with me. And you're messing with my money and my livelihood. And if we got kids, you're messing with our money and our livelihood. So I don't I don't really know how I'll come about on that situation, you know. But I'll probably be like, listen, what in the hell is you doing? You know what I'm saying? First off, if you don't even know the business, how are you going to talk to somebody about the business? You know what I'm saying? So she could be making the situation worse. Like she, so she, what if it was the her in, intervening with one of your friends and maybe just overheard you talking, whether in the living room or on the phone with one of your friends, and then she starts spurting out because she has a genuine intent, like you can't be talking to my man or something like that, or you're not going to play my man, and she goes into your phone, which I think we all agreed at, on adult level. When Danielle was on, that's kind of like a no no. I don't think yeah. that's that's just a respect mm-hmm. thing. But what if your friend was over and she just come in, she's passing, she hears what y'all saying, then she just chimes in. And that's when I'll she stop did. her and be like, go and keep she doing did. what you was finna do, keep it moving, and let us finish talking about the business. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if she knew about the business. What if it's not business? What if it's not business? What if y'all just talking about something and then maybe y'all start getting a little heated or something? Y'all talking about something on, um, like on the street or something happened with your boys? No, if she's coming to her. If she coming to de-escalate the problem, okay, chime in. But if you coming to hype the problem up, now it's gonna be two of us whooping somebody's ass. So yeah, if you if so, you coming in to de-escalate it, a woman don't know how to de-escalate nothing. So don't you go. okay with her jumping into your conversation with your friend? Mm-hmm. Is that what I just heard? No, no, no. If she jumping in the argument, trying to calm it down, I'm okay with that. Jumping in our conversation, women I'm not okay with that. Argument. Women don't calm down conversations. They're like cops. They escalate con- the the issue. Yeah, well, uh, if that's the case, I wouldn't be okay with it. You know, because this could be how this could be how me and this other person talks and communicates. You know, sometimes we get loud, you know, trying to get our point across, and they might think of something else and say something out the way, and it turned into a whole different kind of situation. So now, so yeah, if yeah. you was on the phone, hold up. If you was on the phone, and I and she hears you arguing, and she snatch your phone and be like, "Hold oh, up, who the fuck you talking to?" Then oh, oh, this and this and that, and you you wouldn't feel kind of. I mean, because I'm a female, and to me, I think as a man, you would feel embarrassed, like you can't handle your own affairs that you got your you got your broad on here talking for you. No, I wouldn't feel embarrassed. First of all, if she know her place, she's not gonna snatch my phone. You know. We don't do that kind of stuff. I'm not going to snatch your phone. If you in an argument, whatever, I'm not going to snatch your phone. You're not going to snatch my phone for me. 
You know what I'm saying? Especially if I'm in a heated conversation. Don't, mm -mm, nah. But it's okay if you're in person for her to jump in it and try to break up a, a fight because that seemed a little no, 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 not. Not not a fight, not a fight, not a, it's just between a fight and an argument. Argument, an argument is not a well, fight. Well, I don't know who I don't know who it was. I don't know if it was Hef Chulo, a salmon, or mm -hmm. Fit Bars that sent Miss Danielle Smith off. But we have Miss Danielle Smith back in the EOE Radio TV studio. So we are going to bring her back in with us after we come back from this short break. We're going to go ahead and watch a video by indie artist Q called Take Me Where Your Heart Is. And we're going to finish this conversation. So we'll be right back in. I didn't say nothing. Hold on. Yeah. Yes, welcome back again. That was indie artist Q with Take Me Where Your Heart Is. I like that song. That was a nice song. I Anybody else like that? That was very soft. He's, he's from Canada? It's, he what? must be from Canada. He sounds so soft. Yeah. Um, like Tory Lanez. Okay. Like Tory Lanez. Yeah, he sounds soft. Yeah. It's just like soft. he had no testosterone. No. What? I mean, because that's, that's how Curtis Mayfield sang. Was he soft? That's oh, how no. Marvin Gaye sang. Was he soft? No, not Marvin. No, 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 no. no. You Maxwell. You kind of sound like Maxwell. No, stop. Everybody, okay, now. Welcome, um, no, welcome, Danielle Smith, back to the Ely Radio TV studio, you guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Who made you mad? Who <laughs> was? You know I wanted to respond on what you were saying, Miss J. Oh, okay. About, you know, being uh, uh, what you do for your husband and how you feel a woman should be in that type of thing. And I don't disagree with that. I think the problem is with most, a lot of people, I won't say most people, is we don't, be, we don't get with a person who is suitable for what we want. So, for um, example, I yeah. know I would not get involved knowingly with someone who would ever say to my face, know your role. Because I didn't take the time, <laughs> people aren't taking the time to know who they're dating. Kind of like the one guy who was on before, he was saying, if you knew she wasn't like this from the jump, why are you now acting like she should know her role five years down the line? She wasn't acting that way when you met, so why are you getting mad now? So the, the problem is, is we're not getting a chance or we're not taking the time to know the person that we're with or we're not taking the time to find somebody who we want to be with who um, 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 like I said if, if I want someone who's going to stay home and cook and clean I can't expect someone I can't date someone who has a full-time job and they'll be like hey why aren't you knowing your role and doing what you're supposed to do that that's 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 silly so uh, so for me and kind of what uh, Samaja or uh, Miss J was saying, sorry, was was that she doesn't mind being that role, have that that place for her man. That's because she picked a suitable man that she feels comfortable to submit to. If that's a word that I want to use, I don't have a problem doing Great that work. either with the right person. If right. that makes sense, it does. And I think that's probably where a lot of people are going wrong is because they're getting with Mr. and Mrs. right now and they're not looking for that longevity. A lot of people right. do not like being alone. Um, so they're settling, you know, so they don't have the desire to because it does take, especially if you have a strong, independent woman and everybody knows that defines me. When you are so strong and so independent, it does take a lot for you to be submissive, you know. Um, it can get challenging at it times, does. but... It is also, to me, just for me personally, self-rewarding because I know it's self-fulfilling to who I'm with. You know what I mean? It makes them happy, and them being happy makes me happy. So me playing my position and, and staying in a woman's place um, is all I know how to do. And um, just to, you know, bunny hop off of, and I know um, C-Dev is going to have to leave, but, you know, um, if – He's having company, um, you know, and I could be downstairs or we could be in the midst of watching a movie or something. His company comes in. I make my exit. I say my hellos and goodbyes in the same motion. And I go into my space. It is not my place. And I'm saying this. It is not my place to be in my husband and his friend's space. It's not my place to be there. It's not his place to be in me and my lady's space. 
when we are doing our thing. Yes, we are one now, but we are also individuals. I need this over here. You need this over here. It has to be separate. And these are places. Don't come in my place. I won't come into yours. And and it and there's lines in between that intersect. You know what I'm saying? The 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 places. So yes, I think a woman um has a place, and I try to stay in mind. The, so. the difference is is that you have that you have that agreement with your husband. Not not only are you respecting him by not getting in his face when his friends are over, he's not getting in yours either when your friends are over. So you have that quality and you're on the same page. Now, somebody else's household may be different and they're all in each other's business and that's how they like it. But the fact is that they're respecting each other's wishes. They're not saying, you do this, well, I can do the same thing. Because like I, I questioned uh, um, uh, Sandman before, you were saying kind of, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to tell her to stay in her place. But how would you feel as a man if a woman came to you while you're talking and then you're, and she said, hey, won't well, you know your role will stay in your place? You would say, well, wait, who are you talking to? That's the same way us women feel if a guy comes to us that way. Like, wait, who are you talking to? So, I, I Let, guess, you know again, what, guys? The issue or with, uh, with this, just that she's on the same page with her husband. They're one. They, they got it together. They know their role within their relationship and they respect that. Too many times people don't have that connection or that relationship in the same household you got different ideologies trying to work together and that doesn't work same as they say different religions can work in a household but most of the time if you've got this faith and i've got this faith a lot of the times it doesn't work it can but a lot of times it doesn't because you've got two different points of view yeah you know what guys i gotta get ready to get off of here it has been a yes. pleasure saying man Danielle, Angel, I'm going to leave this with y'all. Um, again, um, agreeing with a lot of things that we're saying and a lot of people have said and just in different ways. Uh, I agree with Miss J. I am going to leave Deuteronomy 22.5, which says a man, a woman shall not wear a man's garment and neither should a man wear a woman, which is saying everybody has a place and you play, play your position. So, Hef, Miss J, thank you very much for having me. Um, this has been a wonderful experience and talking to everything. Brandon, you've cracked me the fuck up through these messages this whole time. <laughs> yes. Yes. And and before you go, I want to make... Thank yes, you. the announcement uh, before Brandon, before you go. So Brandon actually is the winner of the EOE Radio TV um, Cash App prize. Yes, so he is the winner. Brandon. Yes, so um, Brandon, we need you to contact us Chulo at 380-222-8877. Now, if you could please contact Hef Chulo at this number to go ahead and provide him with your cash app number so we can let our viewers know that you did receive it. We would greatly appreciate it. And the number is up on the screen now. Again, C-Dub, thank you so much for spending your time with us this evening. We truly appreciate you, all of your opinions, your wisdom. Um, and we cannot wait to have you back on the show in the future. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, Stay welcome. blessed and let's have a better 2021 in yeah. our place. Tell COVID where its motherfucking place is. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bye. Well, I'm going to give you my uh, Cash App application too, Hef, you know. <laughs> Yes, and for everyone, um, you guys don't know, um, Miss Angel is the owner of Illustrious Spa in Las Vegas, Nevada, correct? Correct. Oh. Okay, yeah, I want to make sure I have Illustrious Spa. Yes, so anyone that is in or visiting the Las Vegas area, give her a call. If you could let our viewers know how they can get in contact with you or the address to your shop, that would be amazing. Absolutely. I am. Are you going to a show? I you most going, definitely am. Show? I most definitely am. Oh, so you can do a video shop. for a shot here? Can we can see I your account? I most definitely account? can, can oh, with her cool. permission. We can do that. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Right 
<laughs> yes. Awesome. So if you can go ahead and give the phone number and the address, that would be dope. Absolutely. The address is 3315 East Russell Road, Suite 4, Be Like Boy. I am at the corner of um, Pecos and Russell. My phone number is 702-612-2635. And I am on Facebook, um, Instagram, All Illustrious Beauty Spa, um, Google, Yelp, all that. Anywhere you can find something on there. Yes, hmm. yes. Okay. I cannot sure. wait. I will be there from the um, 21st through the 24th. So I'm really excited. I can't so wait. I will be, I can't wait. Yes. Wait, I will be getting with Miss Angel yeah. because I want, yeah, I want to come. Um, if you have availability, I'll send you a message. I think uh, Friday morning sometime. If you have any openings, just let me know. So, uh, okay. That'll be the 22nd, I think, on the 22nd. So. Yeah, I think you said yeah. the 22nd. Oh, I'll, yeah, no, I'll make time for you. Oh, thank you. Aww. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm Miss Jay's brother. So. He didn't order. <laughs> yeah. So did you get That's a call from... Um... And like I said, what time is it? Okay, so so going forward um, with EOE Radio TV, um, <clears throat> our show format is different. We do indie artists. We do the side hustle when it comes to owners operators of businesses and we'd like to hear what you're doing at your business um we also do like, say, like indie music we have our co-hosts like mm-hmm. that, 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 wherever she's down there just down there someplace down. Uh, down yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah right there and what we what we do is uh have just just a great time, great conversation. Um, our show was on three three nights a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday. He got it right, so, y'all. He, he got, got it right. right. He kept putting us so on, you know, on for Thursday shows. I don't work on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Monday, oh. Wednesdays, and Fridays. And um we, we may do one Saturday once a month. I don't know who knows, who knows what us. But Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, you know. Jeff likes to talk a lot, so, you know. (laughs) Check us out. But we have been on for over um, two hours. I knew this was going to be a long show. This is our live debut. I know people see our faces. They're like, hey, have chill on Miss Jane. You guys are on another platform. We have been rebranded, and we are now EOE Radio TV. Follow us on Facebook at EOE Radio. Um, You can follow myself on Instagram at EOE.MissJ. Um, Hef Chulo is on Instagram at Hef Chulo. And then please subscribe to our YouTube channel, EOE Radio TV. It has been a pleasure conversating with everyone. Thank you, Miss Danielle. Thank you, Sam. And thank you, Angel, so much for everything. And we are out.